I welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. Here at City Hall, Kevin Parson, how are you? I'm great, Donnie. How are you, sir? Good. Constitution Day. Yes, yeah, so on September the 17th uh, with our partners, we're going to uh, really celebrate this. Our partners are BCPS. Uh, we partner with Mary Pat Clark's office and the Merlin uh, Justice Project. And what we want to do is have kids engage around con real conversations around the Constitution, around voters' rights, and around uh, the Voter Act, uh, which actually has been uh, kind of peeled back by the Supreme Court. So this is going to be a great day for us to engage in real conversation with young people. We really want to push them towards a high level of civil, uh, civic engagement. Uh, uh, and so here I have uh, Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark. Councilwoman, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Um, City Council's uh, supporting Constitution Day on the 17th of September, and especially for our young people, because here in Maryland, you can register to vote when you're 16 years old if you'll be 18 by the time of the election, and we're in the right kind of year for that to happen. Not only that... Yeah, how many people do you think know that, that 16-year-olds... Well, all the people that are watching this video right now, now know it. And will probably be filing to run also, because we've changed our charter that says that if you want to be a member of the city council, you're eligible at the age of 18. So, you got a campaign, you got to win, but you know, the districts are smaller now. It's, you can go door to door. You can really actually have a shot at doing it. Um, this, this concept of conversations. Oh, uh, the, yes. Uh, well, that's something is that... Is that important? It is. Uh, we're having constitutional conversations uh, in the city schools on the 17th so that it's not going to be some teacher standing up telling a bunch of students about the Constitution. It's going to be a circle of students. You told me earlier, a Socratic It's Socratic. <laughs> it's Socratic. Nobody's got all the answers. Uh, but everyone's got good questions. And there are going to be conversations and uh, about voting rights. And how come the Supreme Court has the right to do something about that, which is, should be part of our constitutional right? And what's that about? And what can we do about it? We do. So Kimberly Haven, you're gonna put this all together. Yes, hi Donnie, how are you? Good, good. This day is so important because we know that an engaged democracy doesn't just happen. It takes practice, it takes learning, and it is never too early to start learning about civic engagement, about what your role and responsibility as a citizen really means. We also know that these are the new leaders. These are the ones that are going to rise up. They are going to be our next mayors. They are going to be our next legislators. They're going to be our next governors. And now if we can register them and engage them at age 16, then we have the opportunity to build and engage in an empowered constituency, a new movement of leaders. And as Mary Pat said, by the time they're 18, they can run at the city council level. And how empowering is that for a student to be involved in their own democracy, to define their community. They know what issues are facing their community and they know what issues they need to deal with. They can bridge those two communities. And an empowered citizenry begins now. And that's why we're so excited about the 17th, which is a federal holiday. Um, and that Baltimore City is, is so impressed by um, civic engagement and so empowered and so committed to it that they're taking the lead on stepping out there and encouraging the civic engagement of all of the students in Baltimore City schools, but also in the voter education um, of, their, of 16, 17, and 18 year olds currently in our schools. And so on behalf of the Maryland Justice Project, we certainly commend the city of Baltimore for stepping out and doing such a powerful thing on September 17th. A national leader? Yes, Baltimore City is, you know, the first one of our state that is stepping out there and doing it. It's a national, it's a federal holiday, it is mandated by federal law, and, you know, kudos to Baltimore City for stepping up and doing the right thing. Councilwoman, nowhere else in the country? Well, we're the leader, of course, uh, in saying, hey, I, I bet you never heard of this, and it's important, and it's actually federal law that our schools are supposed to observe this day by 
helping young people um, have conversations about uh, the Constitution of the United States because it runs our, a lot of our lives and we better understand it and our rights. Okay. Uh, how can people learn more information, the action steps, the call to action, what's next? Well, they can do a couple of things. One is um, we are going to be uh, introducing a resolution, Mary Pat Clark is introducing a resolution in front of City Hall um, on September 9th at 4 o'clock um, will be the press conference. They can also visit our website, www.MarylandJusticeProject.org for more information. But they can also talk to their local boards of election and find out about how to register. And they can find out about how they can get involved. Because the other thing that we know too is that peer-on-peer -peer, uh, outreach is really what's going to keep our citizenry engaged. And if these students that we reach on this one day um, are engaged, and then they become agents of change in their own communities. And that in and of itself is probably one of the most empowering things that can happen as an outcrop of this event. Okay, so you want people to go to the website? They can go to the website. Again, it's www.MarylandJusticeProject.org. They can call us at 240-519-1105. And we're happy to do anything we can on the ground. If they want to do their own get out the vote activities, you know, this is part of our larger commitment to democracy, to strengthening and empowering democracy in the state of Maryland. Um, but Baltimore City is our background, is our backyard, and so that's where we're focusing a lot of our energies this year. National leader, I'm loving it. And to find out more information, you can call Councilman Branch's office. It's 410-396-4833. 410-396-4833. You do. Well, how can people get in touch with you? Stand in front of City Hall, 410-396-4814, <laughs> or email me at marypat.clark at baltimorecity.gov. Good deal. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.